guys, welcome to a new video. My name is Renuka Rajaram and I am here with a new video. Today I was getting ready and I wanted to take you along. Um, and yeah, I'm doing my hair at the moment and afterwards I'll put some makeup. So yeah, I thought I'll take you with me on my journey to get ready. My lips are so chapped. So I'm putting this Le Balm from Fresh. I love, love, love it. This one is the mango one. So before this one, I had the caramel one. If you can get your hands on that one, it's better than this. I will go ahead and complete my hair. I am curling it ooh, with my Dyson Airwrap. Today I'm taking the thicker barrel because I want a bit of loose voluminous waves. most about this barrel this specific barrel is that it's really big so so you have this one and then this this one really gives a curl and when it loosens it is still nice but you really have a defined curl and when this one loosens it's really like um, a salon blowout that's kind of the look I'm going for today so I will finish up this hair and I'll be back Okay, so I'm done curling my hair. So what I do, I take a white tooth comb. This one is from Dyson. And I just basically go out and give these curls a little brush. So just like this, run. I run my fingers through it a little bit. And as you can see, it has a curl, but it's more voluminous and I just twist them together with the Dyson uh, I don't feel like the curls directly lose its shape it really stays uh, voluminous so I really love that okay so this is the hair oh the sun is out I have brushed my hair through with this comb it has a lot of volume if you want you can put in some hairspray but I feel like with hairspray also just one day it doesn't sit the way I want it to be and if I don't apply it then it just keeps the volume okay. to start off my makeup I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury uh, setting spray it's good for priming the face as well as setting it so I'll just really get that on my face yeah so as you can see mine is almost empty actually it's empty i just emptied it out and i ordered a new one and it came today so just in time for me to do my setting in a little bit that is a fresh piece oh my goodness guys i love charlotte tilbury it's really one of my favorite brands out there and this one it smells so good i think for my collection this smell smells the best this one from MAC, it was in white tea, yeah. Oh my goodness, I bought this one years ago at the airport and it smells amazing. But after I ran out of this, I couldn't find it anywhere. There's just a little bit left, but yeah. That is uh, sadly the only one I got for that. But this one smells so clean. The sm scent is like, gives me like spa vibes. I will directly go in with foundation. I used to use this NARS bottle just the way it comes and that is without a pump but I ordered a pump a few months ago because I couldn't bear it getting on my hands all, and it gets everywhere if you don't use a pump this one is also at the end of his life but I have a spare in my drawer I ordered it on time this is the sheer glow foundation so this is really my favorite uh, has been my favorite for quite a while now so and by the way, I've primed my face already. I have put on my sunscreen, so don't worry. And this foundation sits so nicely on my face. It's a good match too. 
when I blend it out, it really evens my face. Evens my face. It evens out my skin tone so beautifully. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't created a video for YouTube for quite a while now, so yeah, I am filming on my iPhone actually, um, because my Canon is at the shop to get it fixed. And my G7X, yeah, I still needed to charge it. And I really wanted to record today. So I am just filming what I can. Or at least for with what I have. Yeah. I think you can see and you can tell how good of a match this is. Also, it really covers up... All the redness that I have on my face and the uneven skin tone. Oh my goodness, guys. I have had acne and breakouts in like seasons. It comes for half a year, then it goes and comes again. So I really hope <laughs> this was the last time because the breakouts I got about six months ago were really crazy. And it was hurting so much. My full face was covered with it. And I did get some medication, and that really helped it. So, I might film my acne journey a bit later on. So, it's super, super windy today in the Netherlands. Um, but yeah. I, yeah, the, the skies are really clear, but the wind is so much that I can't bat with it. Okay, so that is blended. That was it for my nurse. Sheer glow of foundation for my concealer. I will mix two shades actually. Today I'll go in with sharp shape tape. I really want that coverage. So we'll go ahead and, and use that one. Let me see. I'll just take my beauty blender in it and go for it. Oh, so light. But you can see the difference. It covers it all so beautifully. So how are you all doing? I have had quite a difficult time, to be honest. And that's because we lost three of our loved ones in an extremely short period of time and i just cannot realize that they're not there anymore and when the realization comes it just breaks me down taking a little bit more of the concealer i put it on the beauty blender and i just go in with this Make sure to drag it down a little bit so it kind of lights up the face. Charlotte Tilbury, contour wand. Ooh, it splashes sometimes in the color medium deep. I will apply a little bit like this. Get in like this. And a little bit on the forehead. And this product really blends like a dream. So as you can see, these three products changes the face so much. And it makes it all even and it looks so nice. I love it. What I do with my creases, I just blend it out and directly apply powder. Just when I apply powder. Going in with Charlotte Tilbury. I love all their products. They're truly so beautiful. And they look so natural. You know, I have quite a bit of foundation on. Not too much, but there's just a good pump in there. Glow is back in my face. And I'm all here for it. I'm looking for my Laura Mercier powder. This one is also finished. 
luckily I saved myself and I purchased a spare so that one is right here I'm running out all of my oh I'm running out of a lot of great products because yeah I give them a lot of love and I use them on a daily basis by the way I'm adding a little bit more concealer yeah a little bit more a little bit infallible L'Oreal in the color Latte. Latte. <laughs> in the color Latte in 331. Just see a little bit. Get the pink out of the cheeks. Or at least like blend it in. But I really like it when it's nicely blended. Go in, tap out the crease. And I'll keep my eyes like this. <laughs> And I just get it there. Let's open it up. Laura Mercier in the shade Translucent. This has been my favorite for about four years, five years. <laughs> it's like, where is this tap? Um, it is a bit expensive, but I love, I love, 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 love what it gives so take a bit in the lid and then I'll add more underneath the eyes because that gets creased the fastest quickest add it to these parts I am tasting the powder okay now this is one of my favorite things to do and that's bronze the face Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in Oh, in three, three ten actually. I that I think that's the second darkest, second to darkest color, and I basically bronze up the face. Go for it. And this brush is from Charlotte Tilbury too, bronzer and blush brush. It's like magic, guys. It's like magic. Look at this base. I love it. I take this on my blender because you know you otherwise do this before you set the face with powder. And I'm doing it after, so then just taking it on the beauty blender and like tapping this on the skin. Look at that. So I'm going in with the naughty palette of Huda Beauty. First going in with hypnotic light shade basically all over the lid and we blend that out just a little bit and you know I create an eye look just like that just don't be too difficult on yourself you know I'm not sure if naughty is the right shade actually it has too much purple in it this is a Morphe palette fall into fabulous 35f and I will take these, these shades, mix them together. Streetwear and trunk show. And go in on the lid, right? Just like that. A little bit messy, don't worry, we'll blend it now. Never forget to bring your eyeshadow down. It really opens up the eyes a lot more. I will go ahead and take a cleaner brush. I need to clean my brushes, sorry, that's the reality of life. Um, and blend it out. Blend, blend, blend. Because we don't want anything harsh on there. Anything, like nothing, zero, zero harshness. So just like this, I'll blend it out. Like that. Bring it underneath the eyes. And then we're done. A brown eyeliner. This one is from... Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> in classic, the classic brown. I apply that. You don't need it to be too neat. Don't worry about it. Just like that. So, you take yourself a small brush and just blending it out like this. 
Oui. Did I pick my lips? Uh, like that. Morphe Classic Lip Oil. And then I go in with mascara. So I'll be back. Okay, so I quickly finished my eyebrows and my lashes. So for my eyelashes, Dior Primer, Maybelline Sky High Mascara. And then for my eyebrows, I used ooh, a Clinique pencil. Yeah, this specific one. Super fine liner for brows in brown. Uh, this one is finished. I'll quickly go ahead and spray the face to set everything in place. Don't forget to add some powder after you have. Spray the face because it gets a little oily. It gets a little oily afterwards, I wanted to say. It smells different. Why does it smell different? I don't like that. I don't like that. <sighs> this new one smells different. Oh, they changed it. Or I purchased the wrong one. This one was white tea of Bali and this is party all night, stay all day. Okay. Well, I'll see how this wears throughout the day. Maybe it's as good. But I like the scent of the other one much, much more. Okay, so I'll quickly go ahead and change. And I'll see you to show my final outfit. Okay, guys, I'm ready. Oh my I have not applied any eyeliner because I didn't want to wear lashes. Um, I have hooded eyes. So when I apply eyeliner, I like to apply some lashes. But today I wasn't feeling any falsies. Um, I'm wearing this gorgeous necklace from Swarovski. And this really, really long dress. I think it's so chic. I'll show you in this mirror. I think it's better. Uh, this gorgeous dress. So as you can see, just like I told you, the hair has a little bit of curl. But after a while, it feels like a blow dry. Or it looks like a blow dry. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing. And I'm taking this beautiful bag from the Zara that I purchased recently oh and by the way look at my nails these are my valentine's special <laughs> i think they're so damn cute oh my goodness i cut myself um but yeah these are the nails so i hope you enjoyed this get ready with me i really enjoyed filming it and yeah i love the end results it's really glowy but natural and glam at the same time and i'm really all about that so guys i hope you enjoyed give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more of these videos let me know in the comments what you thought of this video oh and by the way my perfume of the day will be ysl libra intense and yeah i'll see you soon bye